AI news you don't want to miss. Hello my friends, how are you doing? No camera today, instead I want to tell you I have a Twitter account where I report on my latest AI experiments. For example, high resolution cinematic landscapes, Mickey Mouse destroying the world, turning video game characters into real life people. I'm going to show you at the end of the video how I did that. The first news of today, large reconstruction model for single image to 3D. The render process is only taking five seconds seconds and it is really stunning how good the quality is. So when you scroll down on the page, you can actually click here and move these 3D models to see them from all sides. As you can see, even though this is just a single image, it has a front side, it has a back side. So the AI can figure out the full shape from just one image, then create a 3D model and also texture that 3D model. Very impressive is the cherry down here because that is a more complex shape and also has these thin parts, but also these other characters here that have very nice details and also of course have these and also of course has depth to their surface that is pretty cool also here with this flower which is a more complex element but even the thinner parts of the plant are picked up in a very nice way while you can't use this process today yourself, you certainly can look at the abstract and also at the process on how this is used and where it's going in the future. The second news I want to show you today is Mesh Neural Cellular Automata. It's creating textures and even the qualities of the material in real time on a 3D object. So over here, you can select the different kinds of textures you want to have. You can see this also has height to that, but this then you can also paint on that to create a second texture on that surface. The second texture can be selected down here from this list. And once you switch it, it's also changing everything over here. Now, if you want to rotate the object here with the camera symbol, you can unlock that and this turns it into grabbing. So by clicking and dragging your mouse, you can rotate the object. And on the right side here, you actually can choose from different kinds of objects. When you scroll down a little bit more, there is a brush size here and there's also a subdivision level, which is basically the resolution of the 3D model. I would keep it in the middle unless you have a good computer because otherwise it's becoming really, really slow. But the cool thing here is that this is rendered with AI in real time. Over here, you can see the frames per second and also the steps per second that are rendered. So that is pretty amazing and also very interesting for gaming and other the real life applications. So play around with that today. I have the link below the video. The next thing I want to show you today is the latent consistency model for automatic 1111. Now this is super easy to install and it is using LCM Dream Shaper version 7. So to install this, the only thing you need to do is to copy the web address from the GitHub page. Then you want to go into extensions tab inside of automatic 11 to install from URL and put the URL in here and click on the install button. Wait for it to finish. Once you've installed that, you will have a LCM tab up here. And the first time you're using it, this is downloading the diffusion model and some other data. So that can quite take some while. But after that, you are ready to go and this will render super fast. For me, it renders four images with a 768 by 768 resolution in only 2.8 seconds. When you scroll down, you have here some additional settings. I would suggest you put it on the highest resolution of 768 by 768. You can also adjust the guidance scale, the number of inference steps, which is basically the render steps, and then also the number of images you want to create. And down here, you even have some example prompts that you can use. For my example, I'm using the first long prompt here of the portrait of the girl. And as you can see here, even though this is using only four steps for the 768 by 768 image, this is actually pretty good. And here you can see an image that is rendered by the maximum steps you can set here, which is eight steps. And I would say the quality is pretty amazing for that. 
Let's go on to the next news. This is real-time latency consistent model. Now this is taking it a step further because what you can do with that is actually using your webcam, holding objects in front of that with a prompt you write. And in real time, this will calculate AI images for you. If you like one of the images, you can take a snapshot in real time and download that image. So this is a really amazing process and it shows off how useful it can be. In the future, this can be used to create real time videos with AI. For now, it can be used for very interesting experimentation. And the cool thing is you can try that today. Because here they have a demo link. When you click on that, you have to allow the access to your webcam. You enter a prompt of your choice and then the images will create it from your webcam input in real time for you. That's pretty amazing. In the next news, we have PixArt Alpha or PixArt A. Now, this is a very interesting project that promises that it can train models a lot faster. As you can see from the sample images here, the quality is really good and it is on par with the images we see today on Civit AI that are trained with a normal speed. However, these models can be trained with only 10% of the cost and only 1% of the CO2 emission. And especially the CO2 output is very close to the heart of the developers of this new training process. Now, while you can't test the training of the models today, you can try out the model itself today. Down here, they have a prompt area. You can run that and generate any image you want. Or alternatively, down here, they have different prompt options. When you click on them, this will load a sample image. But when you click on run, this will create additional images with that prompt. Also right below the image box, you see here advanced options where you can also select a style, use a negative prompt, select a seat and so on. Next, we have some news here that is not specific about AI image generation, but it is about AI supported face tracking. And that can also be very interesting for a lot of you because of course, AI is more than just the image generation. You want to have different ways to include it in your pipeline. So with this process, it's called AccuFace. You can use, of course, different input methods, real-time video, as well as pre-recorded video, and then have a very easy way to adjust how the 3D model is reacting to that. On top of that, this can also adjust your mouth movement and also adjust the mouth and the lips for different languages. And of course, that can be super useful for videos, for output, for creations in different countries with the same base material. For example, for video games, this could be really amazing. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you my fun project of creating real life characters from old video game screenshots. For this, I'm using Automatic 1111. I'm using the Epic Realism model. Now I'm loading this into the image to image. When we scroll down here, you can see I'm using a denoise strength of 0.3. And to stick closer to the character, I'm using ControlNet with the Kenny model. I put the weight pretty high at 1.4, but I lower the Kenny low threshold and the Kenny high threshold to get some more details, especially from this image, because this doesn't have too much contrast, too much dark and bright areas in there. So it was a little bit hard for Kenny to figure that out. I had to render the image several times to get a likeness that I really enjoy. And then afterwards, I also upscaled it with the extras tab. Inside of the extra step, I also use Codeformer and GFP again to improve the face. So this is why the face here is a lot nicer. And also on top of that, we have a very nice high resolution with pretty, pretty details for our real life version of our GT3 character. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the AI news of today. Maybe follow me on Twitter and leave a like for this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah. <laughs>